not no cheese, but they make you work, you know? They make you work for it. And here we go. We got game one on Battlefield. We are not going to be going on Pokemon Stadium. Here we go. Len already knows his sister sisters are a thing. He's not getting hit by them at all. Crushing with the up air. Len having a troubling situation trying to get on the ground. Got a nice snare. Up smash, bringing him to 38. He has separated them. Mm -hmm. Not for long, though. Well, we're just seeing the normal pit, uh, not dark pit this time. Yeah. I'm actually kind of curious what his reason is, because the only thing that I could guess is arrows just being a little bit more of a nuisance, but I feel like that's like just being able to control them more isn't a worthy trade-off for what Dark Pit's arrows do. Wow. We are not Len, so we could not know. I've got no clue. Looks like we're going to find out within this set. But going for the going for the downer, trying to get that spike, but Big D's going to respond with a nice up air, almost killing. Mm -hmm. Very ah, nice, nice patience, though. Got that parry into the up side, side smash. Jeez, I can't not speak. <laughs> English! Jeez. An air catch. Yeah, just looking to snipe. Maybe this is what it's for. It is for the snipes like that. The very accurate snipes. Ooh, Ooh, very he... smart to do the downbeat. That is actually going to kill. Yeah, when you break that off of Pits, he's actually free positive on you. but that back air is going to completely smash into Pits face. Mm -hmm. Very, very even set so far, though. No one has gotten a very big lead yet. Waiting for that again. But the up shot's going to be... Yeah, that's, that's there's your 64%. Your 64% out of nowhere, just because they can. Ooh, it might have been a little bit of a nervous punish there. Caught him in the rapid jab, but only went for a side B punish. Ooh, that was not a good roll from there. No freeze. Look at the desyncs. Just keeping them desynced. Oh, look at the pressure. Oh, my God. Big D is just... He had them decent for so long. He was just able to keep them going. I, I don't. I don't understand how he continue because he does that continuously. Yeah. Where it's like it's not like oh you're just fighting one character that's two. You're fighting two characters at once. It's, yeah. it's just you're dealing with two characters. And that's gonna kill another he one. He did oh that my again. God. Oh my god. He's done that twice now. That's the well, last he took his over. Head. Yeah. He said my turn to play. Yeah. See so here we go, we got game two on Pokemon Stadium. I was thinking they were gonna go here. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Already I can see Len playing a bit more defensively. Oh my god, that shield is almost gone. Yep. Len. <laughs> it's crazy. You you want to shield against the ICD things because you know that he can grab you, but if you grab, then or if you shield, then Then they're gonna eat your shield. Yeah. Like it's like it's for lunch. It's part of the job, man. That's what they do. Do you see, do you see the Len get frozen though? Dash attack punishing. Oh, nice grab! I was I, expecting I an up smash or something, but grab grab works. I saw it earlier because when you normally when you grab ice climbers, you want to do a throw that has an alternate hitbox because you're also going to get hit by whichever one you didn't grab. Exactly. But Len knows that if he forward throws, he has enough time to get out of smash attack before. I guess yeah. that's just like something like with the pits that they can do. Like they have enough fast enough Ooh, smash attack to do it. Oh, that's gonna kill, yeah. Ah, uh, huh? That that's yeah, that's big D for you, dude. He's just gonna freeze you and he's gonna do whatever you want. And that's the thing, you don't know when it's gonna come out. You don't know when to DI. You're only gonna know when it hits you. Oh, oh you gotta click off. Oh. Bruh. <laughs> oh, that back here though is gonna kill Nana. I'm smash, not quite taking it though, but we do got Sopo once again. Man, Big catching D. that jump again. Big D getting so much mileage out of this. Nice fair. That could be it. I think, yeah, I think you gotta you gotta go off stage for this. Yeah. Still gonna take that though. I thought that Big D would have been mm -hmm. having uh, enough time to air dodge, but doesn't look like he did. Ooh, Len, playing a bit too aggressive there, getting frozen. Put some pressure down on the Nana. Ooh, oh, I was about to say that might connect, but now he's a bit too high. Ooh, very nice air dodge read, but Len not falling for that one. Actually misses the Nair and gets punished with an up air. I'm kind of surprised by that. Very good spacing right there from that Nair. Very, very smart. Again, he's he's he understands when he needs to use those flurry moves or not to hit both of them. 
Yeah, see, Lingus right there. Grab? No, he's going to see a... Where he, he throws the Ice Climber's forward throw and then immediately rips a yeah. down smash. It looks like it's a completely safe thing to do. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest things when you're playing against Ice Climbers, like, aside from, like, everything else that you need to know, but if you ever grab the Ice Climbers, you need to be ready for what you got to punish them with. Exactly. Because the other one is going to hit it's you. It's going to hit you. And it could be, an, it could be a side Oh, yeah. that's death. Oh, no. no. Flubbing. But Len is, is going to die to yeah, anything, honestly. It's 164, and the Whoa. Nana charging the up smash. I love how goofy that looks. Where, just... where Popo's just running around, but Nana's sitting there charging an up smash. It looks so funny. Bada 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 swing! Mm -hmm. Len, though, has got to start playing a bit more defensively. These, uh, his offense isn't doing too well against it. A little, little punish Ooh, on the again, empty hop. Yeah. Len is... I think he's getting a bit too greedy. Big D's just... Taking advantage of the fact that I think he's in his headspace now, but no, he's going to answer back with a back air. Yeah, I think Len's idea there was knowing that Big D is going to be playing a little bit safer, so he has to try and force his aggression a little bit. Yeah. He's starting, you can already see, he's starting to pick when he's going to be aggressive and when he's going to back off a bit. But yeah. the Ooh, edge guard, SDs. that is SDs. Okay, this is very big for Len. Len's back in this game now. Len is totally back in. You're at almost even percent. Yeah, he had a pretty bad. Oh, that backer is gonna connect though. I got scared of that. Very good. Oh my god, that angle and that immediate response. Is that fair gonna kill? It is! Barely taking it. Land game come playing. <laughs> I like I had a point and then it just wasn't going anywhere and I just I'm, I'm giving up. <laughs> Alright. Either way. Here we go. Len, we got one win game two. Ice climbers are two characters. That's my point. <laughs> Here we go. We got game three on small battlefield. Answering with a 76, because why not? <laughs> yeah, that's what the Ice Climber up till get you. Gets you tons of percent of... Oh my lord, oh my, the down uh, yeah. smashes. They are very safe on them, and they do separate them if you if you, if you manage to get uh, right mm -hmm. in between them. Len is being in, just very safe this game, honestly. Just poking, that grab was super smart. Ooh, Nana trying his hard in there. Yeah, he's gonna go for a fair. Yeah. Dawson sends him yeah. into Nana. He's like, here you go, kill her. Yeah, I just... don't want her anymore. We do got the Sopo again. What is Len gonna do here? He's gotta take the stock soon if he wants to keep that comfortable lead. Ooh, little empty hop okay. tries to call out the jump out of shield, but the up smash barely missing the forward throw out of Big D here. Len playing safe on the ledge. Ooh, that was a very good ledge trump. Very nice stuff. Sealing out the stock. And now he's just got all this extra mileage to work with with his Sopo. Yeah, th these downers are like brutal. Oh, I think you tried to parry that. Yeah. Being very patient here. Oh, got him rapid jabbing, dash yeah. attack, up air, not going to connect. That's a that's a really good thing that Pin has too. Is that he has multiple jumps, so he can mix up his rec his landing anytime. Yeah. That narrow is going to kill though. I did not expect it to kill. Yeah, I think even if it didn't kill, it might have just like sent him at a weird enough angle that Len can seal the stock oh, out anyways. Oh, oh, this okay. is big. Nope, Ooh. Nana gets sucked up Nana from gets the uh, sucked up that's Sister Twister, that's just how it works. Yep. Sister Twister and Uppy, even if they're close enough, they if just close put them to... exactly. right on top of each other and Len. Big D already knows this. That oh, was... Could Ooh. be big. Could be big. Uh, yeah, he's going to go off stage for yep. that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yep. There you go. So poetic. Oh, no, he Ooh. saves her. That's why they call him the best babysitter. I... <laughs> that's why they call him the babysitter. Oh, that, well, didn't look like it worked there. That there is going to kill, though. Yeah, very Len nice stock from Len. 36% though, he can... Looks like he, that's a very comfortable lead, honestly. Mm -hmm. If he continues to play like this, he might solidly take game three. Very patient, you can see he's not he's not holding in. He's holding in the middle, just mixing up his, his DI each time, and Big League just cannot yeah, he's, read him. He looks like he's gonna come in, stops his shield, like just a little bit out of Big D's range, and just reacts to what Big D's gonna do. Nana gonna be saved here. Sister Twister on shield, big punish, no. Nice grab. Even the back throw can do that. Hmm. I didn't even know that. Yeah. And they're gonna catch I, I'm Nana as Nana's gone. Like, this is... Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's Nana. That's Nana big again. Big D has to work three through. three stocks have been taken because he's been so cold. Yeah, Big D's gotta work through two Len stocks with just Sopo. Ooh, ooh. Mix up on the movement, tries to catch him with a back air, not finding it. Len shooting the arrows for an edge guard, catches him with that nair. 
think he's going to go completely ice there. No. Down air, parry on that. Tries to go for a down air punish. I believe he probably was trying to set up some kind of kill option. Oh, wow. Okay, like I did not yeah. think that would work. Finds Land just, just... <laughs> I am just in shock right now. This is... That's going to kill? Yeah, mm -hmm. 166 is going to kill. Yeah, Len taking Len, game three. Len up very in game three. Len versus Cruz running to top yeah. eight. You know? I believe he just wasn't enjoying ultimate when the game first came out, but his, something has uh, finally something clicked, clicked and he's enjoying exactly. it. Exactly, and we're going to see a very weird stage, honestly, but they do have city trials, so I can see why mm -hmm. they picked this stage. This is this is a classic big D counter pick stage. Takes you to Halberd because he's a brawl vet and plays city trial. We're going to see... Again, this is all these four games in a row have just been very close in terms of neutral. Now it looks like Lens sort of like after game one has just sort of figured out what he wants to do against the ice climbers. Exactly. He he just knows. He knows which moves what to do. Most mm -hmm. again, he's gonna take Nana out first and then focus on Popo. Yeah, that's the another big thing about playing against ice climbers is you really, whenever you can, if you see them separated. separated yeah. Get you, Nana. Get Just try to go for the kill. Go as low as possible. I, I thought we were looking at Joker for a second. <laughs> we were looking at Joven? Joker. Oh, Joker. Joker. <laughs> I thought you said Joven. I was like, where's my, where's my boy at? Where, nah. <laughs> shout out to Joven. Hey, shout out Joven. That is going to kill, though. That dash Follow at Joven SSB on Twitter. I'm, I'm just surprised that, that Pit is able to kill this early. I, I thought that he was a bit weaker, but... Uh, he's got a couple kill options that were buffed, I believe. But yeah, you know, in he's the not, last patch, he was. They he, were. He's, he's not like anything fancy. Like he's not killing. Like he's not taking stocks at like ninety, like some characters yeah. are. But or like, fifty, like uh, my boy Kazuya. You know, you know like some uh, characters <laughs> can do. But yeah, Big D is trying to take this back though. He is. Len is sitting at one thirty-six. <laughs> if he doesn't play comfortable here, he's going to take a stock deleted. The up tilt. Up tilt. Not gonna, not gonna try to go for the up air. Very good awareness from Big D, knowing that that was not gonna connect. But that up air right there is going to connect. Mm -hmm. No this need to This is still pretty close. Oh yeah, a couple sister twisters, and this is even. Yep. Len, ooh, barely Very smart. The forward air going barely through both ice climbers. Bobbing and weaving. Yeah, and Pit's dash attack is so quick that he's able to punish a lot of these sister twisters a lot of the time. I love how, too, that he's hitting, he's specifically hitting their shield up high because mm -hmm. he knows that he can shield poke one of them, and that's how he's separating, a lot, uh, yeah. separating them a lot of these interactions. Very, very smart from Len. Yeah, I believe with the Ice Climbers, the shield uh, bring up and uh, drops are actually different for each climber. I believe Nana pulls out and drops the shield a little bit slower. Really? Yeah. And I don't understand how Len is continuously taking away Nana. Just continuously taking her away from Big D, making it so much harder for him to comfortably take a lead or even a game. It, it's something that characters with like multi-hits and especially multi-hit disjoints, like disjoints just in general will also do it, but it's just stuff that like the Ice Climbers, they can't trade with them and these multi-hits, especially with like the Ice Climbers having the different um, frames of when their shields and like defensive options come out, it just makes it super easy that if you end up like hitting one, you kind of have an idea of yeah. Hitting the other. No, I, I totally agree with you. Speaking facts right here, buddy. Oh, for real, for real. <laughs> but you know me. This is, honestly, this is still really close because any any interaction with Kim Kill Pit, that almost does right there. All right. Oh, very good patience off of Big D, waiting for that time where he can grab that back air. Yeah, this is the last stock. This is Big D's last winner's stock, potentially. It I mean. could be. He could be sent to losers, which what? would be a very big upset. Look at him go. He's racking up the damage with the up airs. Len just answering back right now. Ooh. Playing so patient. These pokings are just insane. Look at... Separating I have climbers. no words. I can't speak anymore. Nana's dead. No Air Dog Nana stage. is dead. Oh my god, is this it? No, Big D's not going to go down Big without D a fight. No, he definitely won't. He will take... Take this last fight to his grave. Len's got to earn this. Ooh, air dodging past him. Very good scoop off of that down tilt. He manages to find something. There's That's the F smash. That's gonna kill. It is. There it is. 
Len taking it 3-1 over Big D. Very surprisingly, too. Yeah. He, wow. After that first game, something clicked.